Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Ultra Maximus back with a Christmas haul. Jingle bells, jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile broke its wheel, the Joker got a red. That was horrible. That was absolutely horrible. <laughs> I don't even think that was in the right key or tune. Uh, but uh, I wanted to go over a couple of really cool things uh, from uh, Christmas. And I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas, spent time with their family and friends, and it was safe and it was fun, and Santa was good to you, and all that kind of good stuff. And I just, uh, some, some, of the, some of the things that uh, related to the channel, I kind of wanted to uh, take a look at and kind of show some stuff that will actually be reviewed. Um, I got a couple things from some coworkers and then my girlfriend, and uh, yeah, so some pretty darn neat stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look. First up is a Marvel hat. I love this thing. I got this uh, from a coworker for Secret Santa, and I, it's it's damn cool. It's got the iconic Marvel logo that is uh, 3D stitched onto it. Uh, very very cool. And then we've got some Silver Age um, characters on here. Just very very cool. It's got the Incredible Hulk. Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Falcon, and yeah, that looks like the, the lot of them. Uh, interesting, there's no Thor. Um, yeah, I mean, cool, Thor was on there. Maybe add him on there, but those are definitely some cool characters. I really like it. It's that old uh, Jack Kirby style type of uh, look um, on some of them and then some of them other artists. But uh, yeah, definitely very, very cool. I like the black. Um, very nice. It's a well-fitted hat, too. Um, it's got a little red on the inside. It says Marvel right there. It's an original snapback hat. Um, very comfortable, very nice, very rugged, very, very well made. Uh, definitely digging this. This will have to be worn when I go to Marvel movies from this point forward. Uh, so yeah, definitely very cool. Uh, the irony of it is, <laughs> my buddy that gave it to me, his name is Romero, and he's named after Caesar Romero, who played the Joker in the iconic 60s Batman, and he's a huge Marvel fan, big Deadpool fan. Uh, thank you, sir. I definitely love the Marvel hat, uh, and, well, in the words of the late, great Glenn Webb, I'm gonna make my Marvel. Next up, we have a mug. But not just any mug, it's a Star Wars mug! Woohoo! And this is pretty darn cool. Um, it's got the classic uh, poster right here from A New Hope, which is pretty darn awesome. we got Vader's helmet and uh, the Death Star and uh, the ships coming up to it. And it's raised up on the Death Star and uh, Darth Vader's helmet, which is really, really nice. Got the kind of classic uh, icon uh, or iconic logo down there. On the back, it's got the 40th anniversary. So this is very, very cool. I will never drink out of this. Um, this is actually going to go up onto my movie memorabilia shelf and I'll probably put something in it, but this is definitely way too damn cool to be using to drink beverages out of, unless it's blue milk. I may drink blue milk out of this, and if I do, I will do a video of that. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, this is really, really nice, and it being a 40th anniversary. I don't know if I wanna, it, do I put it on the shelf that way so I can see the really cool 40th anniversary, or do I put it that way so I can see the really cool poster? I don't know. You guys, uh, put a, a comment down below. Uh, I would love to hear your uh, comments, and uh, if I get enough of them, I'll take a picture of what ends up on the shelf. 
But again, a huge shout out and thanks uh, to my buddy and co-worker, Romero. Thank you, sir. I'm a huge Star Wars geek and I'm big on anniversary type stuff. So this definitely takes the cake and is probably my favorite Star Wars thing I got this entire Christmas season. Next up, we're going to take a look at some action figures that my wonderful girlfriend picked up for me. I don't know where she got these, and I don't care because I have them now. <laughs> and the first one is Megatron from Transformers uh, The Last Night. And this is the Voyager class uh, figure, which this is the one I was wanting. I've never seen this in hand. First time I've ever seen this in hand. And it looks awesome. I do not like the leader class. The jet mode looks cool, but the head sculpt, ugh, I just didn't like. I think out of all of the Megatron figures in this line, this has the best looking head sculpt. Uh, but it still doesn't look like the artwork that we have there. Um, so kind of a close up really quick. Um, there is the head sculpt. And I can't tell, I, I, I gotta get this thing out of the box. I can't tell if that's light piping, which I hope it is. Uh, but I can't really tell. But yeah, if you look at the face, I, I really like the face there. I think it looks pretty menacing. It just, I don't know. Um, it's, it's the nose and the upper lip. Um, the nose is smaller on the artwork and the upper lip is bigger and it's reversed on the actual figure. And I think that's what kind of bugs me. I, I don't know. Um, some really cool artwork on the side here. Back of the package, it shows him with these big axe. Uh, the really cool jet mode that we get, and uh, his running mate, which is Autobot Hound, which I did uh, do a review on, and probably one of the best figures out of 2017 for Transformers. Um, I, unfortunately, we did not get the uh, jet battle scene over Paris in the movie. That was a deleted scene, and it would have been uh, instrumental in this jet mode for Megatron, but alas, we did not get it. But if you look on the back, and uh, if you look here, this will focus in. Um, you see how brilliant red uh, his top of his head is, and I'm wondering if that's light piping, or it was supposed to have been light piping to make it glow, and I really hope it is light piping, because I think that would be really cool, but uh, we'll definitely find out when we do a review on this guy. This is awesome. Never seen this in hand. Can't wait to get it out of package. Next up is another Star Wars thing. It's the Elite Praetorian Guard from Star Wars The Last Jedi. And while I may not be a fan of that movie per se, I am a fan of this figure. The only time I've seen this figure is in the uh, Think Geek or GameStop uh, Gigantor pack that has all the different types of guards in it which is like 80, 90 bucks, and there are some really cool figures in there. I just didn't want to pay that kind of money for it. But look, this is the first time I've seen this guy in a single pack, and he's awesome. I got to get the Imperial Guard now to go with him. Um, and I got to say, uh, I think that these guys were probably one of the better uh, scenes in the movie, although I hate to admit it, I think the Porgs were my favorite part of The Last Jedi, but definitely can't wait to get this little dude out of the package. Um, he is number 50, and uh, yeah, there's the back of the box uh, really quick. Not much going on there, but uh, very cool. Lots of red, very imperial looking, and it's going to be a lot of fun in the review. I'm sure Jar Jar is going to be fine with this guy. You know, the, the big blade, psh, no, nothing's going to happen there. Misa Betcha. And finally, I don't know which one I'm more excited for, the Voyager class Megatron or this. It's a Dinobot from Power of the Primes. And this is my very first figure from Power of the Primes. I have not seen these in the store yet, so I'm very, very excited about this guy. Um, I, I, I wanted this guy and uh, uh, the Triceratops uh, Slug, I think they're calling him now. It used to be Slag. Um, but uh, yeah, oh, swoop, swoop, very, very cool. We get the Dinobot up here, the artwork. There he is in his Pterodon mode. There he is. He's got the blue chest, uh, like the cartoon had, uh, which is very cool. He comes with this um, little prime armor thing down there. Very, very neat. So um, love that artwork up there. He looks very G1-esque. Uh, Toy-wise with the cartoon blue, which is very, very cool. Back of the package, he's got red, so I don't know if we're going to get alternate colors. Um, if we do, I'm getting it because I want both. I love Swoop. Never had him as a kid, and now I do. 
So yeah, I am super excited about this figure and uh, I have yet to see these in the store. Definitely was a must have for me. Uh, the Dinobots are some of my favorite characters from Transformers. And well, here we go. Oh, cannot wait. So there it is, the 2017 Christmas haul. <laughs> Definitely look for reviews on the figures coming soon. I, again, hope everybody had a great holiday and uh, look forward to starting 2018 with each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and sharing. Definitely leave a comment down below. If you've got some fun stuff, make a video, uh, add a link, or jump over to my Facebook page and add pictures and videos and join the conversation there. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.